Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Languedoc Property Finders. Today we are back in the village of Rougen, which is spelled R-O-U-J-A-N, which is a, uh, a really nice village, uh, very close to the historic town of Pezenas, and we are visiting a very, very nice house. One of the things I particularly like about this house is the fact that the space is lateral. The majority of older houses you'll find in this part of France uh, tend to be uh, rather tall and over uh, a number of floors. This has got lateral space, which is unusual. At the front of the house, we have this rather nice courtyard garden. Uh, you've got opening gates here. So that gives you a very easy way to bring uh, one car, well, more than one, but simply one car off the road, which you can then park here. Plenty of space for that, which leaves you plenty of space for entertaining. Alternatively, there is a garage, so you don't need to bring the car here if you don't want to. So on the right here, you've got a little pedestrian gate. And then this rather lovely garden. The house is uh, offered for sale in really nice condition. It's got loads of character. The majority of the accommodation is over the ground on the first floor uh, with sort of supplementary accommodation on the top floor, which is rather nice. You've got a, a pergola here with um, uh, slats that can be orientated to allow more or less light sunshine in. Really nice sitting area here. We've got a barbecue, and while we're here, let's just have a look because off of one of the bedrooms on the first floor, you've got a rather cute terrace. By the way, make sure you uh, wait till the end of this video because there's going to be a surprise at the end that you may not be expecting. So in through the front door, and we are straight into the kitchen dining room. There's a sort of a farmhouse style uh, to this kitchen, which rather matches and suits the, uh, the type of house that we're in. Leading directly through to a dining area. Doors out to the front courtyard. This is a good space, a good size, good proportions, and well located directly next to the kitchen. You've also got a downstairs toilet and shower. The uh, extractor fan is linked to the lights, and that's what you can hear humming away. But uh, a really nice shower room here with a, a very generous shower with full-size glass screen. In addition to the uh, proximity to the historic town of Pezenas, uh, the village of uh, Rougen uh, is, is really good because it's got a lot more than most in the way of commerce. So you've got uh, a couple of restaurants, a couple of bars, some local shops, and then on the edge of the village, you've got a really, really nice, very smart, modern super use supermarket, which is currently being extended. Uh, they've got a particularly good uh, butcher in there. So from the kitchen, a door leading us through to the main sitting room. Really nice size room. You've got some lovely old beams there. 
And this room has got two sets of doors leading out to the front garden. So you've got a lot of, uh, a lot of light coming in here. A really, really nice room. Then from here we can make our way up to the first floor. So on this floor we've got three double bedrooms. That's the first one. A second double. It's worth noting actually that uh, for the majority of this house, if you look out of the window, we do not have a house directly opposite. So you've got sky, which is rather nice, and a tree, or trees. And as we make our way uh, along the hallway, you've got uh, built-in cupboards on the left there, floor to ceiling. So that's an ideal place for uh, sheets, uh, bedding, towels, etc. Cupboards on both sides, floor to ceiling again. Good space, well located. Then we've got a toilet. And next to the toilet, a generously sized bathroom. So here we've got a bathtub with a shower. And then a double vanity unit. Really good space. So still on the first floor, and that for me is one of the big attractions of this house. Another double. I particularly like this room, A because I like the ceiling, but B because you've got doors to this terrace. We can get a view down to the front garden where we where we uh, began the tour. So that's three double bedrooms so far. And then from here we can make our way upstairs to the second floor. Now this is an interesting space up here because we come straight up into a sort of a, an open room. Now 
I think this room could be used in, in a variety of ways. It's currently laid out, as you can see, as a bedroom, so this would be bedroom five. But I think this would make a rather nice office area. You have to go through this area to get to the last bedroom. Therefore, if you wanted this to be a, let's call it a full five bedroom house, where you don't have to go through one room to get to another, very simply, all you need to do is put a partition up here, coming sort of along this way. Now that would give you still a proper double bedroom. And then uh, a well-proportioned sort of landing area with enough space for a little desk there. So you could either leave it as it is, which I rather like, but I would turn this into an office, or you separate it and have it as a dedicated fifth bedroom. And this is the last double. As you can see, all of the rooms are well sized. Lovely condition. Bit of a view. We've got some hills you can see in the distance. And then ahead of us, not a cupboard. You might think this is a cupboard, but no. We've got a very, very nice ensuite shower room with toilet and wash basin. And then from here, a door. And if we go in here, we've got a great big storage area, which is absolutely fantastic for suitcases and, and things like that. Move that other light to come on, there we are. Um, if I remember correctly, in terms of head height, I think I measured this at two meters on the higher end and down to one meter on the lower, lower end. So it's a low space, but very, very usable. Really nice thing to have. So there we've seen almost everything, but not quite. So let's make our way back downstairs. All the way back down to the ground floor. And just when you're probably thinking, wow, what a great house, I can't wait to go and buy it, there's even more. So in here we have a very generous garage. Plenty of space. Uh, worth noting, there's a lot of boxes and things in here. So this probably on camera looks smaller than it is. 
That is a very, very, very generous single, large single garage or for two small cars, a two car garage. And then at this end, we go up a couple of steps and then we have a sort of a larder wine cellar utility area, which is absolutely fantastic. And that's not all because there's another staircase. And if we go up here, first of all, we've got a pretty little sort of secret terrace, but then if I turn round, now the sun is going to give me a headache here, but look at this. I bet you weren't expecting that, because I wasn't. So that is a really nice sized pool. It's, it's very cleverly done. It's an above ground pool. And then there's, uh, there's been a, a decking installed all the way around. So you get this fabulous sort of rooftop pool area over the garage. Fantastic bonus. And that is the end of the tour. So I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Drop us a line, drop a comment in the comments section below. Uh, do check the uh, description below to uh, find a link to the full details of this property, uh, including room sizes, etc. how to contact us for viewing. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe this video. Click the bell icon so you're notified for all new, uh, new and future updates and videos. And uh, we hope you keep watching. Thanks a lot.